<laughs> Joining us right now to talk about this and more, Mimi Duff. She's a managing director at GenTrust. Good morning to you. Um, what do you make of uh, his comments specifically, I would, I would say, about this issue of inflation and what Jay Powell may ultimately have to do relative to what the market seem to think he will do? Yeah, we definitely, we're, we're not penciling cuts for this year. Let's say that, even though the market is pricing in some cuts later in the year. Um, and we do find that, um, you know, with respect to the banking crisis, we think lending standards are likely to get tougher. Um, it's not going to be an easy road for the Fed to, to navigate, but we do think that inflation will be stickier, take a longer time to come down, and the Fed will have to continue to either, uh, you know, hike slightly more or at least keep rates in this restrictive territory that we're at right now. And where do you land on the R word? Also, Jamie Dimon uh, effectively suggesting a recession is in the offing. He's been suggesting this as, as a possibility for quite some time, but seemed to have a little bit more certainty in his language in this letter. Yeah, we have a we have a recession uh, penciled in too. The flip side of that equation is I think this is possibly the most widely telegraphed recession that we've seen. I mean, it, it hasn't come to fruition, but we are seeing slowing in the ISM and. You know, we, we sort of feel like the Fed may have to push rates and hold rates high to the point where that, that might be the thing that ultimately controls uh, inflation. So it is in our forecast a recession later in the year. Hey, Mimi, uh, we've been talking about Jamie Dimon's letter and just the idea that he called this a banking crisis throughout. Now, this isn't a letter he wrote yesterday. I think the New York Times had a story. Um, explaining that he kind of holed himself up uh, the weekend of, of, of so many of the big news, the big news going down. I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago with the First Republic when they put all the money into it. That's when he wrote it. Um, not knowing when this is over, not knowing where it goes next. Where do you think we stand in, in terms of the turmoil we've seen in the financial industry? Right. We don't think it's over either. You know, we've seen a couple big bank failures and and we've seen the Fed react with a lending program, which we do think is helpful to to those banks. But this um, this idea of uh, deposit shifting away from banks into broker dealers or into uh, stronger banks, that's been going on for a long time. And even before uh, even before those bank failures, when it really accelerated. So banks right now, the small and medium banks are going to have to make choices about how they can either retain those assets by starting to pay uh, higher higher interest rates or tap into the home loan bank system, which is a more expensive funding source for them. But, um, you know, the, the assets on the balance sheets in the um, in the held to maturity uh, accounts are, are not going away. So we don't think that this banking system uh, crisis, if you will, a situation in the very least is, is over. It's going to take some time to play out. 